Let's do a self-exploration on the three planes. Let's explore in which plane does knowing of touching happen. For this exploration, you will need a fruit. Let's take the stand of an Advaitin at Srishti Drishti Vad level. Creation precedes consciousness level. There is a duality at this level. Let's see how one progresses from duality to non-duality. Touch your fruit. A fruit is a so-called gross object. It exists in the gross plane, the plane of the senses. This means that it exists in the plane of time and space. The fruit has length, width and height. This is the space aspect. The fruit is perishable. Thus it is time bound. This is the time aspect. The fruit that exists in the plane of senses is bound by time and space. Ask yourself this question. What aspect within me is experiencing the texture of the fruit? The fruit exists in a plane bound by space and time. The sense organ called the skin exists at the same plane as the fruit. But the sense organ called the skin is not conscious. That which is not conscious cannot no. The skin cannot know the texture of the fruit. The skin is not the one that is experiencing or knowing the texture of the fruit. Then who is it that knows or experiences the texture? Is it the mind? The mind exists in a plane bound only by time. The fruit exists in the plane bound by time and space. The plane of the mind is different from the plane of the fruit. The mind can never come down to the plane of the senses to know a gross object like the texture of the fruit. Therefore, the mind is not the one that is experiencing or knowing the texture of the fruit. Then is it the witness consciousness that is knowing the texture? The witness consciousness 
or the sense of I or the I principle exists at a plane beyond time and space. The mind exists at the plane bound by time. The gross object exists in a plane bound by time and space. These exist at three different levels. The witness cannot come down to the level of the mind to witness thoughts. The witness cannot come down to the level of the senses to experience objects like the fruit or its texture. Therefore, the witness is not the one that is experiencing or knowing the texture of the fruit. Then where does experiencing or knowing or understanding happen? In our own personal recognition, it is clear that there is no proof of the existence of gross objects like the fruit. There is only the proof of existence of the perception of touch. And we know that perception is nothing but a thought a tangible thought. When an Advaitin reaches the level of Drishti Srishti Vad, he recognizes the tangible thought. It is just like a hologram, except that this can be heard, smelled, tasted and touched in addition to being seen. Examine your fruit carefully. Doesn't it seem like a hologram that can be tasted, touched, smelled and seen? Isn't it your own projection? This is the true meaning of an inside-out perception. An inside-out tangible thought. A tangible thought has been labeled as the gross object called fruit. Examine the tangible thought called texture of the fruit carefully. Does this texture thought actually hold a gross object called the fruit? No. Does this texture thought hold a subtle object called the fruit? No. The texture thought cannot hold the fruit thought. One thought cannot exist in another thought. Therefore, thought is actually objectless. Objectlessness is the definition of pure consciousness. An objectless thought is no thought. Thus, a gross object, 
does not exist. The perception of the touch of that object is simply a thought. But thought does not exist. Then what is consciousness knowing? What is it that is known? When an Anvaitan reaches the level of Ajatavada, he recognizes that the texture which is supposed to have been perceived loses its form and becomes touching itself. Texture is nothing but touching. Touching is nothing else but knowing. When the so-called object of touch comes into the plane of knowledge, it loses its objectivity and becomes knowledge itself. It becomes one with the knower. Therefore, the knower, the known and knowledge are one single field of knowingness. Knowingness is consciousness. Therefore, consciousness is knowing itself. Consciousness is knowing reality. Knowing is always directed to the reality. The object of knowledge is always the reality. If the reality can ever be called an object. Therefore, it is only the reality that is known in every case. You are consciousness. What you are touching is nothing but consciousness. Consciousness is knowing itself. This is the meaning of absolute reality. There is only a single screen of awareness. A single ocean of the light of consciousness. In this, the knower, the known and knowledge are all nothing but a single field of oneness. That is the meaning of absolute reality. The witness, the mind, the body and the world are all nothing but the single light of consciousness. There is no two. Advaita. This is the absolute reality. The Absolute is unborn, ajata, unborn and undying. The Absolute simply is. It simply 
is. It simply is.